Hey everyone, it's David. I'm back again making another video. So, uh, I wanted to buy something from EM3EV, and this is what came in the mail. And I'll show you what I bought, and I'll also tell you why I bought it. So, the reason why I'm making this video is I already did sort of like a Luna Cycle unboxing of a battery, and I seem to got a lot of views. So now I'm going to be talking about EM3 EV, and I'll show you what the package looks like, because a lot of um, of why you would want to buy something there is because of the quality of the thing and how well they package everything. So this is what came in the mail. They have something like this. It's all plastic, which was good because it's been raining here for a couple days. So now let's go ahead and open this, and then I'll show you what I've bought. So uh, this is sort of the box, and I'll go ahead and open it, and I'll show you what's inside. Okay, and here we go. Okay, and this is what I bought. This is an e-bike controller. Very small, very compact. Uh, this is without the hall sensors. I think um, on the site it's 64 bucks. And um, what I'm gonna be doing with this is it'll be an extra controller for an electric Brompton that I have. Um, it came with uh, some directions. And I have one already, so this will be like a spare or a second one that I have. So everything looks good here, and just exactly the way that um, I was expecting it. And I also bought uh, two thumb throttles. So uh, I so this is the uh, the speed sensor and the thumb throttle here. So this looks pretty good. I'll show you what the other one looks like. And um, I did buy uh, this, which is the uh, on-off switch. And this uh, it's not actually a horn, but for the Brompton, it's a um, regen. So you press this, and the bike will slow down, which is pretty cool. And it does have another switch here. This one feels pretty good. Let me just feel this other one. Now, one thing I always wanted to find out, I haven't found out yet, was how waterproof these are. I haven't ridden in the rain yet, and um, I'm also checking to make sure that the screws like this are there, which is pretty good. This looks pretty nice. Uh, looks all pretty good. And this is sort of like the packing material that came inside the box. Now, the box was a little bit um, soft, it's not like a hard, it was a little soft, a little moist or something, but it came here safely. Um, I do like that they had this plastic because it did rain. came with directions, and I'll be uh, just keeping this, uh, this will be probably like my little winter project. What you have to do is basically for me is to uh, trim down these wires and get it on the bike. And uh, it's pretty easy since it has the directions here. Um, I do have a uh, uh, some type of program thing uh, cable for the computer, but I never needed. I didn't need it last time, so that's pretty good. And that's really about it. These are the three wires that lead to the uh, the motor. Looks good. And this is the positive negative goes to the battery. Everything looks fine here. So thanks for watching my video. Once again, the uh, person, the uh, the shipper, the where I bought it from was EM3EV. The reason why I bought this is because I want to run without any uh, hall sensors, and this little controller seems like it's the only one available from a reputable uh, vendor. Um, there was some, there was one at uh, Grin, but it was like a double. It came with a set hall sensors or something, and they're some brand new ones, but I just need it without. This is fine for my needs. 
Um, and that's really about it. So hopefully you like this video. Take care now. Goodbye.